Hello guys, today we are going to learn about the third and final step of the urine formation that is the tubular secretion. What is this tubular secretion? Tubular secretion is the transfer of material from blood capillaries to the distal tubule or to the tubular part. Now, you can see here also different, mainly the waste materials are secreted again in the tubule so that they can move out from the body through urine. This process is mainly done by the active transport. Now let's learn what are the different solutes are again secreted in the tubular structure. This is our proximal convoluted tubule, this is loop of Henle, this is distal convoluted tubule and this is collecting duct. So first let's learn about the solutes which are secreted in the proximal convoluted tubule. So mainly urea, uric acid, creatinine, some drugs, hydrogen, iron and ammonia are secreted again in the convoluted tubule. In the loop of Henle, only urea is secreted and in the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct, hydrogen ion, potassium ion and the ammonia is secreted. Now, let's revise again. PCT, proximal convoluted tubule, creatinine, urea, uric acid, some drug, hydrogen ion, ammonia, loop of Henle, urea, the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct, hydrogen ion, potassium and the ammonia. Now, let's learn the difference between the reabsorption process and the secretion process in the tubules. First one, it occurs through the nephric filtrate into the blood in the peritubular capillaries. From the filtrate reabsorptions, reabsorption is occurring in the capillary or the blood. Here, there is a secretion of the or secretion of different solutes, mainly the waste product from blood to the tubular structure so that they can pass out through urine. Useful substance, mainly the useful substance are reabsorbed so that they can they should not move out from the in the urine this is like glucose amino acid vitamin sodium are transported here mainly urea uric acid creatinine uh, potassium hydrogen ion and ammonia are transported this is mainly active and passive this is only active process so in this video we have talked about the last step of urine formation that is secretion in the tubule and the difference between the tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion. I hope now you understand the full concept of urine formation. In other videos, we will talk about the composition of urine and micturition. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.